why do the opinions of others affect us so much? Because we live in the, the, what I call the era of the influencer. We are hardwired as human beings to be social creatures. You know, we live in communal settings and communal systems. Now, uh, livelihood operates in those sort of scenarios. And we have, with you know, the power of the internet and whatnot, pardon me, I just had a big drink, um, we, we are so exposed and connected to all these people who have the way and this is what you should do and look, this makes me happy, so hell yeah, it's going to work for you. It's been really interesting. Like just recently, like just seeing how much people can be affected by the attitudes and um, actions of others, both positive and negatively. Wouldn't it be great if you were so whole within yourself that you were just content? Like happy, like always striving for other things, but that's really what it comes down to, isn't it? Really, when you think about it, if you're a content person, like on your own, and you see it often with people who separate from partners, they really struggle to be on their own because you're so used to operating and relying emotionally, um, motivationally, maybe even financially on other people. It's really hard to be your own unique soul. You become so so reliant on the opinions and likes, um, you know, thumbs up, kudos, tags, whatever the kids use nowadays, social media wise, for justification that you're actually a good person and that you're succeeding. What does any of that shit matter? It doesn't, not at all. If you're happy with what you're doing and where your direction is, what else is there? What else is there? It's that simple. I was going to add something else, but it's not. I can just leave it there. What else, what else do you need? If you like, there might be things that you still want to achieve, and that's that's cool. That's called self growth. That's called growing. It's it's achieving. It's what make life makes life interesting. But you can be content with the person that you are now, while still wanting to be better. If you are happy within yourself, and you are actively trying to make your world a better place for everybody else around with you, whether you like them or not, that's what's going to make this place wonderful. And that world doesn't work that way at the moment. The world works very much on the, am I happy doing what I'm doing? Awesome, cool. Everybody else. <laughs> That's so wrong. It's so wrong. And it's been so strange to watch that and how much people are, oh, she said, he said, around just anything. Who cares, man? And I know it's so easy for me to say that. Because do I get, am I happy and super content with who I am? I am super content with who I am as a person, absolutely. But that's only been a recent thing. Do I still get affected by the opinions of others? As much as it annoys the shit out of me, yes. <laughs> and I'm working really hard, really hard on making that a consistent no. Nine times out of ten, I don't give a rat's what anyone thinks. Because I know in my heart of hearts, I'll always do what I think is right. Which, I suppose for other people, doesn't always appear as the same. We have different evaluations of what's right and wrong. But I always try and do what's right. So in my mind, in my mind, yeah, I'm not nine times out of ten, I'm fine. But there's still that one time out of ten where yeah, I do get really emotionally invested in what someone else might say, particularly if it's someone I care about or someone whose opinion I value. So I think what I'm trying to what I'm trying to get at is um, for you to be the best person that you can be, and to also help others to have that spare energy. There's a few tricks and things you can do. One of the big ones is exercise, and that's kind of where I'm coming from, you know, having an exercise profession. The other one is sleep. Um, if you're really tired, have you noticed how much you emotionally start to feel everything, and usually for the negative, because you're tired and you can't be bothered taking people's BS? Um, if you're tired, you also can't invest into giving with other people. So take some time, invest in your own health, and that's being really marketed worldwide at the moment. You know, invest in you. Do the you, do the you, but do the others as well. That's so important. Take, get enough sleep so that you can invest in others. If you've got families and whatnot, that absolutely counts. Invest in your kids, invest in your partner. In my case, I was going to flip my camera around. Hang on. Uh, where is she? <laughs> that little dog. That little dog is, is at the moment, so right now, that's who I invest in. I invest in, I try to really invest in all the people that I work with. Um, you know, even with clients, for example. So people are like, yeah, but people pay you for a service. And they do. 110%. I always try and go above that. I don't always succeed. I don't always succeed. And that's something that, you know, that's a goal of mine to work on. I always try and say, look, here's the base product that I offer. And I'm always upfront and black and white in. Here's what my base product offers. And then I try and go above that. Be it that, you know, sort of emotionally or in actual giving more product for less or for nothing. Um, and I, and I believe that that comes back. I'm like you know, I don't necessarily believe in karma, but I do think that comes around full circle. 
Um, and if nothing else, I've made some really good friends out of it. Um, actually, most of my clients are really good friends. That's quite a pleasant thought, actually. I like to think even if they weren't clients, we'd still be good friends. That's wonderful, actually. Um, yeah, so have a think about that. Why do you do what you do? If you're not happy about what you're doing, why can't you change it? And then you might go, oh, I can't just change it overnight. You know, this is my job. I need the money. Yeah, I get it. I get that. It might take you years. Is that worth it? For you to be a happy person? Or are you going to suck up and feel like shit forever? Worth thinking about.